place to go when you just go, right, had enough of everything. And, uh, but it's like, have you, any of you guys had that thing where you, um, you grow up somewhere and then you move away? And I hadn't been back to Suva, which is um, the sort of capital of Fiji. And I've been up to the north of the islands quite a bit, but never been back to Suva where I grew up. And I went there like when I was about 20, 25 or something. I hadn't been there since I was 10. And there's that wonderful thing when you go back somewhere you haven't been for a long time and you smell and you just everything goes, ah, that makes sense. And um, this, um, as you go out, this, this mangrove swamps that you know, stink. They're just dead anaerobic black mud that just is so disgusting. And it was the most beautiful smell I'd ever smelled. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> you can buy some of this mud for me. Five ninety nine. Have you been to PG? No, I haven't. I want to go to the It's good. I'm quick. <laughs> How do you prepare when you are offered a new part? I mean, there are actors that read the scripts, other make some yoga or strange. <laughs> strange stuff like. Um, I grow a moustache, get some gum, and some yeah. big laughs. <laughs> Works for any role, I tell you. Um, how do I, I, I think I'm a, you know, the, the Lawrence Olivier quote of um, yeah. where Dustin Hoffman was doing Marathon Man and he, um, he'd, he'd run, you know, stayed up all night and he just ran and ran and ran and he finally came to do a scene and he's just exhausted and Lawrence Olivier says, my dear boy, you could just try acting. <laughs> but, um, you know, people have their different, different things. I, I'm sort of a believer that Especially with something with theatre, more so, where the script is so well worked um, that you you just read and read and read and discover as much as you can from the text first, and then you know you try to make as few grab choices immediately. You just try and stick with it with the text, and then then later on you start making the decisions. But um, you know, I, I think especially when you, when you if you deal with a play that is written by someone like David Hare or, or um, Mavericks or something like that. The writing is so wonderful that, you know, I'm never going to be as clever as he is, so dive into the script and have a look there. But I have a, a friend who um, um, has an actor staying with him, um, a fantastic Welsh actor, um, and he's just going to start to work on this um, thing about, uh, written by a guy with, with minor Tourette syndrome, you know, the, um, the, the ticks thing where you go, <laughs> And um, <laughs> he's been down sort of preparing for this role, and he's very much, you know, just you have to kind of get everything absolutely right. So he's been walking around their flat as well. This was quite disconcerting to start with, but they're quite used to it now. It's just when guests come in and they, you know, oh, it's all right, it's just got friends. <laughs> Which is quite a good excuse. Use it anytime you want. Three in the bar. So, uh, to read. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. I I love doing theatre. I think theatre is, is is the most rewarding thing in the whole world, but it's also the most exhausting and usually the least paid. Um, this the, I, there's a quote I remember from a green room um, that had the thing of um, what was it? Television makes you famous. No, television makes you rich. Film makes you famous, and theatre makes you good. Which is, um, and if you can kind of balance all three, I think it's, it's quite a good, you know, a good mix. But um, yes, yeah, I, I adore doing theatre. But I sort of okay, I haven't worked for a while. I'm sorry, Mum. But um, <laughs> but I used to do try and do one play a year, but it, which would run in New Zealand. We only sort of do about a month or six week runs. So you have month rehearsal and month, six weeks of play, and that was about all I could cope with. At the end of that period, you just kind of your body breaks down and you're just exhausted, and so it's, um, it's, it's not as hard as digging a ditch. But um, <laughs> so I, I just try to do one play a year, and, and then you, you know, basically subsidise that by doing telly or other other stuff. And the theatre's the theatre rocks. And this is a great city for it too. You know, this. Um, I saw. Has anyone seen? Um, oh, I saw <laughs> Sylvia the other day. Have you heard of that play? So um, Edward Albee, just of Jonathan Price, who is just magnificent. I'm blown away in, in London. You can go, you know. Oh, how was she? 
I love her. I she, she gave me the eye once. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time in London, um, and I went to see.